I guess you, so you're doing self portraiture. So you're not just a photographer, but you are also a model and presumably you've been a model for other photographers as well. What's that journey? No, like for you? no, actually no. Okay. what I mean, what, what I mean by model is artist model. I model for drawings, painting and okay. sculpture classes. Um, and uh, I have, not that I haven't, posed for photographers i posed for one major one lynn bianchi if you look up her work she does some amazing she did some amazing work especially with with other models um i'll get to that in a minute but um when i was still in university and when i was just starting my self-portrait series i was taking ah here's something fun for the for the crowd of today uh the photography crowd of today back in the day when artists wanted to submit work to uh gallery shows they had to submit their work on slide film so there wasn't you know jpegs back then so you had to have someone or yourself take pictures of your work i'm talking about painters and sculptors that needed to take pictures of their work for the galleries to see. Uh, so they would hire a photographer to take the pictures of their artwork. So that's where I came in when I was taking making a little extra money to 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 the pictures for them. And I was taking pictures of a watercolor um artist's work. And uh, while I was there, she asked me what I was doing for my thesis and I was talking to her about it. And she asked me if I would ever consider posing for a painting class. And I took drawing classes in school where I was drawing from the model and I loved doing that. And I always had a little bit of jealousy and said, oh, wouldn't that be cool if I was able to do that? But I was also so uh, terrified with the way I looked. And so, uh, you know, I didn't let myself think, oh, I, I could be a model. So I didn't think about it. Um, but when she asked me about it, it was at the same time that I was doing my first self-portrait series. And I said, yes, immediately, because I said, this is another tool to help me with my um, my road to self-acceptance. My, my body image issues um, can be handled again with this, this route. So I started to do this two simultaneously. And that became, that's my job. That's, that's how I make my money and pay my bills is as a, as an artist model. So I've been doing that for almost the same amount of time, 25 years. Uh, so I, for, for universities, art schools, and and all that, the um, the photographer Lynn Bianchi is really the only photographer I posed for because she had a very special uh, series in mind uh, called Heavy and White, and uh, I posed with. I was the only large woman there. I posed with all of these dancers, ballerinas, and. Um, and there were other women there too that were very thin gorgeous women and we became the sisterhood not one of them ever said a bad thing about me they are they also made fun of themselves they made fun of their own bodies they made, you know we had so much fun and we we really had a bond uh while we posed together we were all nude <laughs> It was it was like one big party, um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was but it was really it was it was an eye opener too because these women uh, accepted me like their own you know it was it was you know where I grew up you know in the eighties where um, the girls would tease me because I was fat and uh, you know I was never accepted from it by anybody so here's here are these beautiful ballerina women and and they they thought I was beautiful they said I was beautiful and I would cry and we would hug and we would you know it was such a wonderful thing and because I think because of the dynamic between us we really were able to work well for this photographer and she really has some beautiful pictures of us that are very different that there she shot infrared film and we would have these like uh, dinner parties and these tea parties and she she was a she was a, she is she's a, a wonderful photographer to work for and she had these really wild setups and um, if anyone wants to go see her Lynn Bianchi you can find her website too. Um.